So the Vaxi XE wireless, let's see what it weighs, take it apart, see what it's made of. Seven grams. First thing is these skates are not going to go back on. We know that because we did the wired version and they still lift up after the first go. It's a bit of a shame, but we'll see. Maybe they've changed the texture, but a bit like the old Zawi skates, they just they don't like coming off. Skate notch there. It's awkward because I'm right handed. I guess I'd have to push it in that way, maybe. I'm used to flipping them around. So what do we have? We have four screws. It's a heavy ass screw mod. Let's get the guts out. Mm, slightly different design inside. I like the way the ribbon cables are on boxes. Much easier. Yeah, he's a much better connector. You can definitely save some weight. You can make a smaller PCB like that straight off the bat. And um, we have a different screw now. We're back to normal screws. Axis built one. Got the same stuff though, this got the channels down the side. It's using the old Razor tactic. I don't understand what this, this does. You set the PCB on it, but you don't need to because you've got the mounting points. You could easily like trim out some of that. You can definitely get this lighter. PCB, or not PCB, the base. Pretty standard, all the standard runnings of what Maxi do and Zari have done in the past.
The only thing I'd say on here is the soldering, like slightly off like that. Connector slightly wonky. But it's okay. Could be better optimized, but I guess it works. It's a nice shape. Should be good to put in other mice. Thin PCB. So it's got PWA, sorry, PAW35, PW, PAW3395DM T6QU, which is the same, I think, as the XM2. Remember that? And the MCU on this one is a PAR2862Q. So got 400 milliamp in it. Okay, this should have a pretty good battery life then, because it's got a 3395 in it. 8.3 grams, Jesus Christ. always tricky because it gets trapped on the side here. One of the reasons this one's heavy as well because it's got this internal bit like the um, Superlight, or the Superlight 62 and this is 677 so this is quite a lot heavier than a Superlight. Another screw here. These are nice, I like the comfort grooves. They're also not thinning them out. A lot of people are starting to thin out these buttons too much. And that's one of the things you shouldn't do because it creates like a flex in the button. This one's good. I think there's one thing they could improve on Raxi is the side buttons, these are not the micro ones, which I guessed early on. Can't tell you, but you can see, they could definitely put full size, given the side, how heavy the mice are, I don't know why they don't put full size switches in it. It'd feel nicer, and they could change the side button configuration a little bit, one of the things I'd do with it. That'd make it pretty solid, that's one of its slight weak points. Even put a screw on the DPI, nice. DPI? There's a shell left. It is disappointing to put Hironu blues in it for me. You know, that's like Hironu blue. I prefer the pink dot if I was going to put any Hironu in it. One of them, anyway. Probably the blue shell. Don't like the transparent ones, like I've got some coming, but the black one feels a little bit weaker than the blue one to me. I 
used a micro one for the scroll wheel, which is interesting. But they should definitely, they've got space to upgrade these to main, to bigger switches, so I think they should do that, 100%. And then they use a really weird DPI one, that. Yeah, what's glued? <laughs> there you go. I love the connectors that they use so much better. Interesting, they cut some of the pins off and all the pins. That one's skew worth as well. Different to the one in the uh, wired version. It's heavy scroll. Definitely got an Alps encoder. Nice. Bonus points. That's a seven mil maybe. I'd say it's seven mil. But again, see this is offset. So about a few of them being slightly wonky. PCB soldering. What affect it, but. Three, three, three. And then we've got the final piece, which is this cage. Definitely a different design now. This is what the original one was like. Ten grams? Mm, eight. For me, what do I think? So I think this is built really well, actually, from uh, Vaxi, I would say. Standard, pretty much how they build their mice, like the ribbon cable connections, not going to break very easily. The these lot of screws, it's solid, no creaks or anything. I think the side button should be changed for bigger normal switches. I don't know why they're doing that. DPI doesn't bother me, even though it uses a weird push button one. Um, the thing you to look at is their soldering. Some of the switches are slightly crooked, as we've shown. That one definitely is. So that's a crooked switch, and then. Slight another crooked slightly switch. Where's the other one? There's something down there. PCB, this connector's crooked. This one. So, but they're not going to affect you, I don't think. You're going to feel it. The switches won't bother you. Um, other than that, it's decent. Yeah, I like it. Definitely worth looking at. This shape's nice. Don't like the Hawano blues. Uh, I would have had pinks in it if I was going Hawano. Probably blue shell. Side buttons could do with a little bit of a tweak, I'd say, but other than that, absolutely rock solid. Nice mouse.